everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Ford of Souderton in Souderton, Pennsylvania to check out this brand new 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse Premium six-speed manual, dark matter gray metallic. This is one heck of a Mustang. Top trim action all the way around. It's loaded up with options. We're gonna check this out. This was a special order that the person didn't want when it got delivered. Who wouldn't want this car? Let's check it out, see what this five liter Coyote is bringing for 2024 in this top trim dark horse, and let's dig in. Front end of this dark horse Mustang, again, the dark matter gray metallic looking good against the black grill. We got that uh, dark silver or dark gray pony up front on the grill, LED lighting all the way around functionality in the grill top and bottom functional heat extractors on the hood looking so good here on this dark horse we got the stripes that go across the hood right here it says mustang dark horse looking bad there's those heat extractors right there coming around to our wheel and tire setup what we got here is a 19 inch machined aluminum alloy wheel mustang badge on the center cap now we got upgraded Brembo brakes, all four corners in the Dark Horse Mustang. Now the tires on here, I'm not a big fan of. They're Pirelli P0 summer tires, which, eh, okay, I'd rather see Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Let me know what you think. But up front, we are 255 on the width of 40 series sidewall 19s. Out back, we go to 275 on the width a 40 series sidewall 19s. And of course we got rear wheel drive. Moving on back with the flat black, let me know what you guys think about this or would you go with a different color? We have the dark horse badge right here on the front fender looking good. Then we do have color matched side view mirror with LED turn signals, color matched door handle up top, color matched roof, shark fin antenna, no sunroof. In the back of course we got our LED lighting and then, of course, we got our spoiler up on top of the deck lid looking cool. Again, the dark horse badge right in the middle. Quad tip exhaust. We got the active valve exhaust as well. So let's take a listen to see how this baby sounds. We are under the hood of this 24 Mustang Dark Horse Premium, and there's that beauty. Here's our five liter Coyote V8, made it to a six speed manual transmission, 500 horsepower, 418 pound feet of torque, MPGs, 14 in the city, 22 on the highway, 17 combined. However, the engine's minimum octane rating is 87. So you can run this on regular unleaded gas, even though I'd probably go 91. But let me know what you guys think. But I'm just loving the looks of this engine, how it was built. We have the strut tower brace going right over the top of the engine. It says Mustang Dark Horse on it. Looks beautiful. Just a really well-presented engine. A whole lot better than the 5-liter Coyote looked in the 22 Mach 1. That's for sure. All right, we lost microphone connectivity, so we're going to have to rock without a microphone the rest of the review. My apologies, but here we go. Price on this 24 Mustang Dark Horse, base price $57,970. Now, this particular Mustang, we need to add in $3,995 for the Premier trim with color accents. We then have to add in $1,300 gas guzzler tax. And then $1,595 for destination and delivery from Ford's Flat Rock, Michigan assembly plant. We have a total MSRP from the factory, $64,860. Let's check out the interior. Driver door panel, soft touch, the ultra suede microfiber material here on the insert, nice soft armrest black on the door handle. We got our mirror controls there, three memory seat settings for you here, and I do love the faux carbon fiber insert. Looking good, love the way the door panel looks. Look at this door sill plate, Mustang Dark Horse. Do 
to welcome you to the vehicle. That just looks so good. Foot box, proper foot box, right? Aluminum finish, clutch brake, and accelerator. Would have been nice to have aluminum finish on the dead pedal. All season mats in the vehicle. We do have power seat bottom with lumbar for the driver. Power seat bottom for the front passenger. Then we have this black with the microfiber cloth suede insert with the blue accents on the outside in cross stitch and then on the inside of the perforation as well really comfortable headrests look beautiful love the way it looks would have been nice to have the dark horse emblem on the seats or on the headrest let me know what you think but a really sharp looking interior passenger door panel same as the drivers except we don't have uh the uh memory seats now we do have the upgraded Bang & Olufsen sound system in here. Soft touch, more of the full carbon fiber. There's the dark horse badge right in there. Looking beautiful right into the heat and air vent. Really sharp. Now, nice large glove box. Infotainment screen, 13.2 inch Sync 4 system. Wireless CarPlay, Android Auto. Bring up your maps. Look at this pinch to zoom capability, unbelievable. We have our dual panel which you can bring up additional information there that you wanna see when you're going down the road. You got your home button right here, no problem. You can go to your features, which I always like to go to. Go to My Mustang, track apps, you can go into there, get your track apps going, come on back out. You can go to your auxiliary gauges, bring those up when you're on the track, getting those, setting those times. You got your custom mode where you can link in the drive mode, nor right and how things are going to go your driver profiles as well my color ambient lighting right in here your cluster theme you want to match it to your drive mode or you want to lock it in on one of those so easy no problem there now we can go to our climate control we got dual climate control three stage heated seats three stage ventilated seats right down here for the driver and the front passenger i'll bring those up there they are and then we have a heated steering wheel on or off right there in the middle as well. Really easy. Now we go to reverse. Nice large backup camera with trajectory and the center line. Backup sensors on the right. So they got you covered there for that. So it's a really easy system to use. Sync 4, beautifully done. Down further, more of that faux carbon fiber. Two heat and air vents right here. And then down further, I'm not in love with what they've done here. We got the push button start volume, but these used to be toggle switches in the S550. I like that better than this panel here. It just doesn't do much for me. But you have my Mustang, traction control off, four-way hazards, favorites, and your defrost. Down further, USB-C, USB-A, 12-volt, and a wireless charging pad. There is the six-speed manual, and that's a Tremec here in the dark horse to make the magic leather gator with the blue stitching with the blue on the shifter knob look at that and you got the pattern right in into that uh knob in through the blue looks gorgeous beautiful more faux carbon fiber and this is a great six-speed manual that tremec manual emergency brake two cup holders so i like that and then we have our key fob unlock lock pop the trunk panic button mustang emblem on the back and then armrest nice and soft with the stitching we open that up another 12 volt in an area for storage mustang steering wheel nice leather wrap wheel nice 10 and 2 notches with the blue stitching the mustang blacked out loving it flat bottom wheel helps you get in and out of the vehicle so easily drive modes on the left cruise control safety suite controls on the right telephone voice commands and all sorts of action for your digital dash we have our uh, high beams and turn signals on the left windshield wipers on the right down here on the left pop the trunk adjust your headlights brighten dim the dash and we do have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel in the dark horse and then we have our 12.4 inch i believe digital dash looks beautiful drive modes here we go sport normal custom slippery drag strip track i know we got a low fuel level track and then back to sport look at the way the, uh, the dash changes as well 
So, and now we'll go back to our sport mode. And then again, the gauge will change as well. I know we're low on fuel. And now we're back to this gauge. Really well done, really easy. And then you've got additional information. You can go through in the center if you would like as well. Different pages, different action. So really easy to use. And I, I love the clarity of the display. Getting in the back seat of this Mustang, you're not gonna fit anybody back here, but they look nice. We have the same material with that microfiber suede insert material. Looks good, but you're really gonna put in here some extra gear. That's my guess, because you're really not gonna fit a real person back Getting here. Getting in the trunk of your Mustang, pop it from the key fob, pop it from the dash. Come to the back, right above the license plate. There's a button, you push it, pops, and you lift up. Nice and easy, and for a muscle car, this is a, not a bad opening. 13.3 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of the Mustang. Not bad. You got your big subwoofer for this B&O sound system. No spare though, you got to fix a flat going, so that's a bummer. You do have some carpeted floor mats with the blue stitching, but it would be nice to have these say Dark Horse on them or something like that, a Mustang. Let me know what you think. But overall, pretty good, pretty good amount of room in the back of this Mustang Dark Horse. We're looking at the window sticker. We'll move on in closer. Dark Horse Coupe Premium Style. Standard equipment up top. Options down below. Pricing information. Total MSRP from the factory. MPGs. Coming over here, dealer added the all-weather mats. Total vehicle asking price $65,080. Take this baby out for a spin. All right, we're out in this 24 Dark Horse Premium as the weather really warms up it's gotten hot out today but wow 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 what an exhaust whoa man this sounds so so sweet in this dark horse mustang here in souderton pennsylvania not a lot of good driving roads in souderton just so you know um, but I got great visibility out these dual screens. I got a lot of tech. Some people love these dual screens. Some people do not. So you really have to let me know what you think about these things and whether you like this or do you like what they had in the S550 instead of this. But you can't beat the most powerful Coyote V8 ever made with this 500 horsepower naturally aspirated V8. I mean, what a great job Ford did here. And the six-speed manual just does all the business. No doubt about it, it just does all the business. 10-speed is nice, but with this kind of vehicle, a six-speed manual, that's, what you, that's where you wanna be. At least that's where I would wanna be in a vehicle like this. Obviously, an expensive proposition here in this dark horse at 6465 G's. But it's a better value than a Nismo Z at 68. So you can't complain about that, right? <laughs> but it is just it's so good it just the the steering is just tight and right it feels good in your hands i love the the uh the seats with the microfiber suede inserts and the blue stitching just looks really good you got the heated ventilated seats heated steering wheel wireless charging i mean you just got everything you want and then some in this Mustang Dark Horse. So I really can't can't complain at all about how this baby is equipped. Now the dark matter gray is nice. I'm kind of a fan of <clears throat> carbonized gray better than dark matter. Let me know what you think.
but that's the kind of action you can bring to the table with this six speed and this Tremec six speed is like beautiful shift nice and short nice and precise feels really good in your hands I mean they just did an excellent job with this dark horse uh, Mustang no doubt about it I was thinking to myself ooh dark horse is that really what I would want to call it? Because I love the Mach 1 and that vibe they had in 22. Um, but it's grown on me. And uh, the car itself is just incredible. Just an incredible car. And he got the tech. Plus he got the performance. Plus he got the handling. Uh, plus he got top trim action. Which is always desirable. just feels really really good that's really all you can say about this Mustang I mean it is a really well put together car in a big way and that's what you would expect out of a Ford Mustang and this is what this delivers it delivers big fun it delivers performance it delivers handling it, it just delivers all of what you would need to take it to the track or just have fun with it around town. And you just gotta love that naturally aspirated V8 sound. It is just intoxicating in this car. And the car is easy to drive. So let me know what you think. Ford Mustang 2024 S650 Dark Horse. Is this the action you wanna rock in? that you want to be seen in with the six-speed manual, or are you going to go down trims, save some money, maybe go automatic so you don't have to do all the shifting yourself? I don't know. It's pretty easy, and you got the automatic uh, rev match downshift too, which makes it sound even cooler. But let me know what you would do. But I want to thank Sioka Ford of Souderton for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse for review today. I want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this vehicle, please consider video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing. Turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rights video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.